All right, continuing on. Sorry, I ran out of uh, battery this one section. Hey. Um, <laughs> anywho, I think the last thing I should talk about was Apollo Justice. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I didn't really care for the characters all too much. MS Guy was cool. Um, Trucy, Trudy, whatever was cool. Phoenix was great. Um, wish they would have had some more cameos. Anywho. Um, there's, I got Rune Factory 1 and 2. Um, I've been a fan of the Harvest Moon series for, like, a decade, even longer, since I was, like, 10 to 11 years. Um, <laughs> like, starting out with Harvest Moon 64. So, I've kind of picked up almost every one since. Um, and this one, I think there's Super Robot Wars. Let's see. Yep, Super Robot Wars W. Not sure where they get the initials or whatever, but Super Robot Wars. Don't understand what the heck they're doing in it, but it's a lot of fun, lots of blowing up. Very cool. There's uh, Time Hollow, which I feel kind of weird, I guess, paying $30 for it. Because it only took, like, four to six hours to beat. But the story was pretty cool. I'd like to see a sequel, but the way it works, I don't think they have room for a sequel unless they explain like a prequel type of dealy whatever uh, world ends with you also picked that up on impulse um it, it was a lot of fun actually one of my more favorite ds games um glad i bought it story was really cool it reminded me a lot of a manga called gantz gantz eh. um let's see ps1 games uh, you can't even see these things uh, let's see. Well, the top one is Chrono Cross. Um, second one, Final Fantasy VII. And I just like to say right now, despite me having these Final Fantasy games, I hate Final Fantasy. I I don't know why I picked these up. I didn't even like them. Final Fantasy VIII, Tactics, Chronicles. Yeah, it really sounds like I hate it, huh? <laughs> uh, Legend Dragoon, really cool. Probably my second favorite PS1 game. Uh, Persona 2, awesome. Siphon Filter 2, really like that. Seems a little out of the loop here with all the RPGs I got. Um, and then Xenogears, really cool mech RPG. Um, wish they would have made a sequel, but, you know, why ruin a good thing? Folklore, don't know why I still have that. That game was garbage. Valkyria Chronicles, oh, these are PS3, by the way. Valkyria Chronicles, really awesome game. Uh, I think I'm about three or four missions away from beating it. Um, PS, or, uh, what is this, GameCube? I got Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition, which, this is my second copy of it, because I used to own it, and I sold it because I needed, or I wanted to get another game, um, and then I really regretted it, and I wanted to, I had a ache to play Majora's Mask, so I picked it up again. Um, Skies of Arcadia, Pirates Against an Empire, if I remember correctly, really cool, Tales of Symphonia, you know, Typical Tales game. Then for Wii, don't play this too often, but Harvest Moon, Tree of Tranquility. Um, like I said, I love Harvest Moon. That one was one of the more recent ones I actually put a lot of time into. No More Heroes, a lot of fun. Um, Victorious Boxers Revolution, or ha Hajime no Ippo is what the manga is called. Um, then for 360, I got Beautiful Katamari. Uh... You know, it's fun to play in, like, 10, 20-minute intervals. Um, Eternal Sonata, the story is pretty sad in that one, just because, like, you know, here's some spoilers. Everyone, like, was dying in it. Um, I forgot how it ends. Halo 3, I like to play it online sometimes. Um, Lost Odyssey, I haven't gotten back to because I kept getting disc read errors just because my 360 was really shitty. So I'll get to that eventually. Sneak King, I got a GameStop on sale for like 50 cents, so I bought it. Then Tales of Vesperia, there's a couple of GBA games, I just, those are just the cases for them. Um, the actual games are right here, Final Fantasy Tactics, which was actually, I put like 60 hours in it only because I went on a trip with my parents. And, it was, okay, Riviera, that game sucks, Super Robot. Tyson 1, Super Robot Tyson 2, Super Robot games, a lot of fun. Um, all original characters in this one, none of the Gundam, that kind of crap. 
Golden Suns, one and two. Yeah, yeah. Um, so those are a lot of fun, too. Um, that's it for the games I got, really. Um, then I got to show you how much I love Persona. I got, you know, both the strategy guides for it, even though I never used them. Um, use my Teddy Teddy, but I'm kidding. Persona 4 Calendar. The Persona 4 Art Book. The Persona 4 Play Magazine cover. I got almost in a lot of trouble, actually, because I posted this online. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, Play Magazine, really cool cover. Um, that was, you know, exclusive to Play. That's awesome. Um, and something I just had here. Blah, cat hair. Um, Code Geass uh, art book that my buddy got me for Christmas. I haven't actually looked for it at all since he got it for me, but let's, let's see. Uh, let's see here. What the hell do we have? Music, cool. Colin Kozuki, favorite Code Geass character probably. Suzaku. You don't really like Suzaku, but I thought he was cool. Hard to turn it with one hand. Yeah, so there you have it, Code Geass. Um, I got my Valkyr Chronicles art book. Really cool. Shows off characters and stuff. I actually haven't read through it. This is in case there's spoilers. I don't want to ruin anything. Um, and I got these for free. Luminous art. Luminous art. Haha. <laughs> Clever jackasses. Um, Persona 3 art book I picked up. Um, this one... I mean, it was cool, you know, seeing all, like, the different art and stuff, all the characters. Um, cool stuff. And then Persona 4, the Japanese art, official design works, I guess is what they call it. Which I really wish I knew what the hell all this said. It's probably just more, of, like, feedback of how to make characters, this and that, but... Um, yeah... Uh, like, I, even though I got the English one, I don't really mind spending 35 bucks on this or whatever it costs, because it's really cool. Um, then what else? I got this Persona 4 t-shirt. Oh, let's see. Izanagi on it. I got this from Anime Expo at the Shin Megami panel when they were kind of going over through the history of the Shin Megami series, um, and, yeah, that's when they announced Persona 4, that was a really, I was pretty pumped that day, almost got in a car accident on the way home, um, and then this came with, like, the social link pack, it was, like, a, well, Yukiko's Persona t-shirt, but it's an extra large, and I wear a small, this is a large, um, I guess as good a time as now as any to open this. Oh, it's gray. But it's like really faded black. Which I guess gray is. <laughs> Let's see. Yep, so you see kind of her little wing things there. Uh, damn it. <laughs> there. There you go. Whatever that persona's name is. And that's pretty much it for my persona stuff and my game collection. So there you go. Enjoy.